welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to Throwback Thursday. It's another week again. I cannot believe time is flying. Uh, first of all, I want to, I'm apologizing because it's a Canadian thing to do. I, there's no reason to apologize in a sense, uh, but um, I am actually filming this on Thursday for thr thr Throwback Thursday and normally on my Instagram, which is Canada Kim 1978 Canada spelled with a K. I generally for Throwback Thursday throw a, a pop up a photograph on Wednesday night um, to sort of get you guys ready for the review being Thursday. Um, I had all intentions in doing so yesterday, but unfortunately, uh, boss let me off work a little early to tend to the fire hall because there was a big, good size brush fire, uh, of which I will say I wasn't on the ground, but I was there to help out where I could at the hall. and. Um, also, there's a lot of hose to clean at the end of uh, something like that. So anyway, long story short, I was very busy. Uh, all is well. Nothing was lost. No one was lost. So that is good. So anyway, that is why it's going to be up later on Thursday because I'm filming this right before I go to work. Um, so my apologies, but that's just how it's going to have to be, especially this time of year being that it's fire season. So with that said and now done, um, I will tell you, Lisa Laura, yes, Laura Lopez here on my YouTube channel. She's a, a great subscriber and always comments and that. Uh, she picked out this week's Throwback Thursday, which happens to be DW Holmes Two Wick Candle in cu Cucumber and Aquatic. And God, I love the color of that jar. I mean, again, packaging is not normally my thing, but I do enjoy that the color of the packaging. And Willow's basking in her glorious sunshine over there over my shoulder. All right, let's get on to the candle Bible and the write-up that I found for this candle. So DW Home uh, describes aquatic and cucumber as aquatic notes of dewy green cucumbers with hints of lettuce greens. Actually, I would probably say that is pretty darn accurate. Um, of course, I said it was a two wick. Its burn time is approximately, what is it, 64 hours and a four, 14 ounce candle. It's a hefty candle, like the glass is really thick. Um, I will say, you know what? I, uh, the simplicity, the notes that they put, the simplicity of uh, the lettuce, greens, and the cucumber is truly, it's exactly what I smell. Uh, scent appeal on cold is, is very high for me. I love cucumber melon. I love cucumber anything really. I haven't, cucumber mint, uh, that kind of thing. I really enjoy that, especially this time of year. It's really refreshing and that. So send a peel out the store when I picked this up. It was really high. I'd say it would be about an eight for me, which is pretty high. Um, it didn't come with a lid. In fact, this particular one DW home candle didn't come with a dust cover either. Some of my two wicks come with dust covers and some of them don't. Um, very simple label. Uh, I appreciate again, simplicity to the point that's all it is. So yeah, um, the color of the jar I really, really enjoy. Again, I'm not huge into packaging. Look how thick that glass is. Not quite as thick as the Aquis candles, but um, fairly decent. And I think that bodes to the weight of this. The 14 ounces, of course, just the wax inside does not include the glass. I picked up this candle at HomeSense for $11. So as compared to $26, which online, I think it's even higher on the DW Home site. But anyway, anyway, um, burning this sucker has been a breeze. Uh, although the last burn that I had, again, I didn't trim my wicks before I filmed this. Um, they're starting to, it's not puny wick syndrome yet, but it's, it's seemingly struggling uh, the last burn. Like it didn't put itself out, out or putts itself or anything like that. It, it's burning and smelting, um, but uh, the wicks are getting a little bit short. So it's something I can keep my eye on. I'm about halfway through this candle right now. So anyway, whatever. Um, it's a nice creamy colored wax, um, ivory color, I guess. Again, like I've said before, it's two wicks. The burn itself has been great. This is for me walking it over to, I always take my, very carefully mind you, I always take my candles over to my stove top, blast the fan on high and then put it out that way. And I know there's people that, that dip their wicks and things like that. It just creates more of a mess and so something I have to clean. And I, so anyway, that just does a trick for me. And again, you have to be very careful because of course the last thing you want to do is walk your candle to the stove and trip and fall and then there's 
molten wax everywhere. That would suck. And now knowing my luck because I said that, it's probably gonna happen, so yay me. Um, okay, so scent while burning. This was burning in my bedroom <clears throat> for, for the first little while, and then I got uh, put into my spare bedroom. So that's kind of a sign there. If I really, really love a candle, it'll stay in my bedroom, especially when I only have one. If I have two, I normally put it out here in my uh, great room, but I just had the one. So it started off in my bedroom and it was okay. It was good. But then I was like, I'm, I was over the scent. I was over the scent pretty quick. I really do like the scent, but um, yeah, I was ready for other scents. <laughs> so it banished this one to my spare bedroom. So it's still enjoyable again, but it's just me and my nose. And I was like, I need something more punchy because the throw on this, uh, for because it's a cucumber light airy scent, like it's not super strong. So I want strong, <laughs> but apparently I didn't get that. So, um, yeah, that's why I got put into the other room. I, while burning, I probably only give this like a five for a throw. It was very light. Still what I could smell of it. It was very nice. Um, but it was very light. So uh, that is my review on DW Homes Cucumber and Aquatic. So thanks you guys so much for your patience as well. And, and I appreciate, uh, you know, yeah, because it's going to be a long summer as it was last year. I started my channel right smack dab in the middle of summer. Um, so there were many times I was filming with like two hours sleep last year. So anyway, <laughs> moving right along. So thank you very much, Laura Lopez, for picking this candle out. Now, as all of you guys know, the rules, uh, I always state uh, the rules for the Throwback Thursday. See my words? Oh my gosh, I still have the whole day to go ahead. <sighs> all right, let's go. Whomever makes a comment down below first and selects one of the candles I'm about to pull out and show, uh, I will acknowledge that probably later tonight when I upload the video. Uh, yeah, and then we'll start burning your candle and we'll review it for next Thursday. See you guys. Are you ready? All right. Aquis Ginger Mango. Have two of these if it gets picked. Lots of DW home. So here you go. First one is Mandarin Agave. Guava Kiwi. Sweet Pea and Pomegranate. Hyacinth and Mist. Candlelight Companies and Tropical Fruit Medley. Yankee Candle and Lemon Cake. Oops. Then I have an Alum Candle, Coconut Milk and Mango. The rest are Bath and Body Works candles. We have Coconut Vanilla. We have Ocean Driftwood. I should know these by now. I can't even remember them. Says my brain's half gone right now. Kamalo Paradise. Island Tiare Flower. And lastly, we have Banana Kiwi Colada. So there you go. <laughs> there you go, everyone. Whomever makes that comment down below first, asking me to uh, select, select one of these, uh, I will acknowledge that and we will be burning your candle. So as always, you guys, thanks so much for your patience and understanding. Um, thank you for being you. Thank you for joining me every single time. I've uploaded, this will be 700, no, 700, 372 videos in less than a year because my channel started on July 24th, 2015. Oh my God. All right, you guys, <laughs> with that said, take care of yourselves. Happy Canada Day tomorrow to all my fellow Canadians. Um, I have a four day weekend myself. Happy Independence Day. 4th of July to all my American friends because that's awesome, like super cool. Like ours is flanked on the other end of the weekend. Guys, be safe as always. I always say that and I really do mean it. Don't do anything stupid. Don't jump into a car with someone who's been drinking or whatever. Um, be smart because your family and friends would like to see you the next day. So you guys, bye guys. I just totally like gap, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know, you guys, I'm like lack of sleep. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Be safe and have fun.